This car completes the same maneuver over and over again here on Mercedes test track. And it does it flawlessly every single time. But hold on, there's no one behind the wheel. That's right, it's a driverless car. And with it, Mercedes wants to reinvent motoring. Bharat Bala Subramanian from Daimler says the goal is to accurately recreate dangerous situations so that he can test how the system reacts. He says there are three requirements. The first is precision and whether the car can repeat the same maneuver over and over again. The second is timing, in cases when several vehicles are involved in the scenario. He says the third is very important, and that's the safety of the driver. There's no driver in this car. It's steered by a robot. The cars in question are standard production models. But what's special about them is that robots control the steering, acceleration, and the braking. The car's onboard computer tells it to drive between two predetermined points. It'll follow these instructions even if it encounters several vehicles along the way. Ralf Guido Hedwig from Daimler says two things are needed. The car out on the test track has to be equipped with robots to automatically steer, accelerate and brake. He says there also has to be a control room which programs the car. A radio link between the control room and the car monitors the test. Engineers in the control room monitor the parameters and can abort the test at any time if necessary. The basic technology can be fitted to any Mercedes, turning it into a driverless car. That way the engineers can test different systems on different cars. As if by magic, the car avoids the obstacles. They're placed on the test track to help simulate real life scenarios that a motorist may encounter on the road. Hatvig says the cars can drive so accurately that if they go around the test track twice, there will only be a difference of two to three centimeters between the two runs. There's no other way to recreate a dangerous scenario like this. The same is true for situations in which a car suddenly cuts in, brakes or swerves in front of another. Because the automatic driving system only intervenes in dangerous situations, these dangerous situations first have to be simulated. The system represents a giant leap forward in safety, especially for the test drivers who no longer have to risk life or limb. Hartwig says he can test scenarios which are too dangerous for a real test driver. For example, jumping from a ramp or driving into a curb. If a real driver was behind the wheel, it would put a great strain on the body. But Hartwig does it with a computer. Technology testing technology. Mercedes has always been at the forefront of car safety and its latest innovation should help it stay well ahead of the competition.